Ah, there you go. Hi. It's me. It's uh, bright and early in the morning for me because uh, I slept like crap last night. And my allergies are uh, going haywire today. There must be a lot of humid in the air. So, um, it's me, Hi Car Star, your friendly neighborhood alien trapped on the third rock from the sun whose allergies are going nuts. So, but expect a lot of sniffling. And I'm trying to figure out my party right now. There you go. I don't like that party. I can pick out another party later. Okay. Um, so what we're doing is this one. Got to find Kira in the Templar recruit. I want to take Anders with me here because I want to send Anders to the gallows. And I'll take Isabella. Oh, I should have taken Aveline. I should have taken Aveline. It's not too late. I'm going to switch. Going back to the docks. Reason. Wondering if the feathered halberds are essential part of the rules of level page persona. What are you talking about? I'm working on an epic poem about a holy hero master who is defeated, waging an epic struggle against forces he can't possibly face. What do you mean you can't possibly face? Well, it's not a good story unless the hero dies. And since you're the one telling my story right now. That bodes well for me. Yeah, I should take Aveline with me. I don't remember which way I came from. Yeah, I'm going this way. Okay, do you have hair on my shirt? Yeah. Sorry, I felt something by my elbow. Now back to the gallows. I figure this is more of an Aveline kind of thing. Okay, others? I wasn't even certain Karen was missing. Who else is gone? Perhaps my sister was with us too. But then it was half a dozen. Rumor is Karen was the most recent. And why have you been told to keep quiet? No, I'm not. So I got the ACN too. Turn that off. Well, how about you tell me some more?
If you're not strong enough or fervent enough in belief, you don't make it out alive. Figures. And do you honestly believe that? Recruits keep going missing. Wilmot came back. What? He did. I saw him this morning. Initiation. So, anything else I should know? You know what? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep Anders with me this time. <laughs> Normally, it's like all Bethany this, Bethany that for me. Um, you don't want to piss off Aveline. You can tear your head off, man. And I don't think me or the dwarf are going to stop her. We're too scared. We are. Okay, that's uh, Act of Mercy. Uh, Magistrate's Orders. Well, we're going to Wilmot's camp first. Then we'll see if I can hit some other stuff on the way. Actually, no. I'm going to focus on this one. Come on, buddy. I really should record that. I got to sell stuff too, don't I? I'll go there in a second. I want to make sure I get all the loot. A lot of reused assets, I know. But them's the prices you must pay. Oh, that's not good at all. That, that does, does not look good.
Oh, great, more demons. Possibly. Do you think he was possessed? Normally we only worry that mages will fall victim to possession. But I have heard of blood mages or demons in solid form who could summon others into unwilling hosts. I've not thought one of our own would be susceptible. Well, you've seen one demon, seen them all. Well, what's what 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 what, what, do you, what do you think happened, man? Hey, my sister's a mage, man. I've got friends who are mages. Are you saying they need to always be watched as well? I was at the circle tower in Ferelden during the blight. I saw firsthand how tempered trust and leniency can be rewarded. Trust and leniency? Is that what you call it? I still have nightmares of Aldred's depravity. Yeah, but he was also working with Loghain. So, no ritual then? The recruits believe that Meredith was conducting some sort of deadly ritual. What? <laughs> That's preposterous. Recruits can be worse than a weasel circle with their rumors. There is a vigil before Templars take their arms, but the gravest danger they face is falling asleep. So, why'd you attack him? Well, do you know where the boy Kieran is? I was trying to find another recruit, a friend of Wilma's. Do you know where Karen is? He also disappeared. They were last seen together at the Blooming Rose. But I had no luck interrogating the uh young lady there. I doubt they know anything of magic or demons. Well, I'd be willing to search there. The order would truly be in your debt if you help me with this. I'm totally gonna be doing that. Okay, I'm grabbing Isabella. Definitely not Bethany. She's too young. Okay. No, I am right here. I'm going to go over here. I mean, I'll keep the same party right now, I think. Ah, so you're the wind, horseman. 
Yes. Oh. And I'm guessing you're a father. Would you mind telling me who you are? Uh, my name is Elf. I'm a merchant in the city. Please. No one else cares that our children are being slaughtered like beasts. And he targets elves. Why only elves? Why not human children as well? We're easy prey. No one thinks twice when an elven child disappears. And how does this go unnoticed? Well, let's see if I can do something about this. I'll tear his throat out myself. Thank you for That's a little more aggressive than I wanted. But I will tear his throat out. And what about you guys here? Okay, let's do it. This murderer cannot be allowed to walk free. Then that bastard will finally get what he deserves. Thank you. Not right, stranger. You tried to take justice into your own hands. The magistrate will have your head. He's welcome to try. Well, we'll be quiet then. Okay, first things first. Any loot? Any loot? No, okay. I'm going to ignore the guy that's standing out there. One of the mods has bugged this. I hate spiders. I hate video game giant spiders. No loot? I'm not going to use any of my special attacks. Me and Crypto have this. We got this. We got this, buddy. Okay. I just gotta post my schedule too. I just realized that.
I don't know why somebody would want a spider fang, but um. Unfortunately, I still got a lot of other main quests to do before I do that. It's the problem with this being a video game. More spiders. I don't think the sp spiders are really caring about the next life. And neither are the corpses. They attacked us first. I was just looting these ruins. I'm 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 a ruin looter. I don't know which way I came in. That's the way I came in. Ah. Your father told us you were dead. My father? Is he safe? Kelder said that he'd take my family if I didn't come with him. Kelder? Who is Kelder? The man who took me. Are you hurt? I don't see any injuries. Are you all right? He hit me, told me I was nothing. I begged him to stop hurting me. Demons? What kind of demons? What did they look like? I don't know what they looked like. I didn't actually see any of them. But Kelder told me to run, to get away so they couldn't make him hurt me anymore. Please don't kill him. It's not his fault. Please. And I guess I'll try to show him some mercy. Okay.
Okay. At least I know I got enough money. Save once, save often. I knew my father would eventually mm. I was hoping the beasts down here would get to me first. So came here to die? You wanted those creatures to kill you. Why? It's what I deserve. I should be torn apart, forgotten down here, not protected by my father. Ah. Uh. So he's protecting his position, huh? The magistrate's more worried about keeping his job than doing his job. Father is a good man. He tried to help to stop me. But he can't. No one can. That elf girl. She had no right to be so beautiful. So perfect. The demon said she needed to be taught a lesson, like all the others. The circle was supposed to help me, but they lied. They said there were no demons, that I was mad. This isn't my fault. So that's where you kill him? Let me get this. You torture and murder elven children for being too beautiful. I... I didn't want to hurt them. They forced me. The demons don't like it when they cry. Well, you could try and just staying away from elephant children. You know, that's, that, I, honestly, you know that that would be a good thing. Maybe find a therapist. Yeah, maybe this guy just needs a therapist. I wonder if we can find him on the call for you. Not well. You need help. No. I'm not mad. It's the demons. Real mages suffer enough without charlatans like you making it worse. He's a sick man, Anders. So many times. Please, you have to kill me. There's no other way. Just tell my father I'm sorry. For everything. Oh boy. Okay, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I'm going to... <sighs> I'm going to do a coin flip. So, heads, I'm going to kill him. Tails, he's going to die. So, I'll turn my browser on. There we go. Coin flip. So, heads, he dies. Okay. I have never done this option. I'm willing to do this. No offense. Hopefully. No. I don't want to hurt anyone else. I'd rather die. Great. It's probably in that center chamber where I've already cleared out.
A revenant. So dramatic. Corpse. Nope. I'm taking you in. I've never done that before. Usually, I usually, um, usually I kill him. Usually, I kill him. You only get mercy because the girl said, asked you for mercy. Elder, I, I said not to hurt you. I said... Shush, girl. You don't know what you're saying. You're still in shock. You let him live, even after what he did. Hey. Well then. He's right here. Finish him off if you like. I doubt he'll put up much of a fight. No, Papa. I need to get my family out of Kirkwall. That's the only way we'll be safe from that monster. Well, there's other monsters in Kirkwall you should be safe from, you know, fear too. That's why I let him live. The little girl. I'll tell him to go do his damn job. And not try to protect his kid. I'm seeing if there's any loot. Uh, there's loot up there, okay. I mean, I don't need the money now, but having money will be nice when I gotta buy armor pieces and stuff. Okay. I'll not, I'm not gonna do the bone pit, but I will do this. I'm gonna go to High Town, anyways. Hi guys. Sorry, I have a quest here. In the days after the rising of Sesekel, the Dequins covered every corner of the land. The archdemon drove all the nations of the world before him, Shem and Elthen alike. 
in the far north where the hills wander the plains and the earth is eternally baked beneath the uncaring sun the lands which the shem call the anderfels a clan of our people lived struggling to survive the blight Aloran was their keeper, a hunter in his younger days, crafty as any wolf. He led his people away, always just ahead of the darkspawn who chased them. But the old hunter knew that even Hala could not run forever. They must turn and fight or be run down. At the foot of the Merdane, the darkspawn cornered Aloran's clan. That night the moon was strangled by clouds, the earth concealed by a dread mist that rose out of nowhere, so that the Elven could not tell up from down. In confusion, the darkspawn attacked. But Iloran had prepared for them. All around the camp, the hunters had strewn dry grass, brush, and brambles. When the sound of rustling footfalls began, Iloran and the other Haren called upon the old magic. They struck out with lightning. And though the bolts missed the darkspawn, they hit their target all the same. The sea of kindling lit, and not one of the dark creatures made it through the fire to reach Iloran's clan. From the tale of Iloran, written by Zathrian, as it has been passed down from keeper to keeper for generations. I, he was actually probably there. How you doing over here, bud? Uh, how the nightmares doing, kid? Sadly, his is not a problem we've encountered before. I'm studying our ancient writings, but it is a slow process. His human blood makes it difficult to train him. You know, when I lived in Kirkwall, I felt like everyone could tell by my face I was an elf. Now I understand how easily I pass. It's harder here. Still, we appreciate you bringing him here, friend. We would not see a son of our tribe suffer alone. Please, accept this as our thanks. Yeah, pretty much. Ironwood is very hard to get. Uh, Thetis is bounded to... Bah, 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 bah. This is just geography. The word Thetis is uh, Tevinter in origin. Originally used to refer to the lands that bordered the Imperium. As the Imperium lost its tranquilhood on conquered nations, more and more lands became Thetis until people finally applied the name to the entire continent. Thetis stands for The Dragon Age Setting. So everything that wasn't meant to was the Dragon Age setting. Got it. Oh, I really do not want to ask, but I'm here, so might as well. You have returned. Is there something you need? Um, do you know where any iron bark could be found? Do you have any pure iron bark in stock? What use is iron bark to you? I've never met a Shem who could bend it to his will. Ah, uh, there's a mage. Well, anything I can do to help then? What's the problem? Maybe I can give you a hand dealing with it. I find it insulting that you think you would succeed where we could not. The place is overrun by darkspawn. If we tried to eradicate them, we would risk the precious few hunters we have left. I'll show you where the area is. What you do with the information is up to you. Okay. Hi, guys. That's my warden's clan. That's why I keep going to him. And even offering to help. I mean, he doesn't know that it's the clan of the Great Warden, but I do. Uh, 
I'll come back to that later. I'm going back to Kirkwall. I'm going to go to the Chantry. There you go. Look what I found. Your reason for living. Be sure to never hold my feet up again. Thank you. Now I thought you'd see the remains of your of sister plinth again? Did you drop them? This is why you don't carry human remains with you everywhere you go. I'm just saying. There, there's a Mabari. You can play with the Mabari. You can pet the Mabari. It's a good Mabari. I found your son. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, is there another magistrate whose son murders children? What are the odds? Keep your voice down. So you're telling us there's no truth to this. I'm more than a handful of elf. You know, the secret will come out. I won't talk, but he is known. How long before they connect him to you? I will protect my family no matter the cost of Elden. Did you do any guessing? Take your damn reward. I'm done here. Yeah, I'll talk back to the magistrate. Okay, I gotta go. I'm gonna grab Aveline. Not Aveline, um, Isabella. I'll keep Anders with me, though. I figured Fenris' house is right there. I can use that to change. Bethany's not coming here. Never gonna bring Bethany here. She's too young. And here we are in Brockton. My day is complete. The difference between a courtesan and a whore is well, their shoes are nicer. 
I don't think anyone's looking for their shoes. If someone here tries to hire me again, I'm leaving. Madame Lucine runs the place for Harlan. Or with him. Or on him. It's a coterie thing. Hi. I'm looking for a couple of Templar recruits. A couple of Templar recruits went missing. They were last seen here. You'll have to be more specific. We do a lot of business with the Templars. Well, I'm doing this to help the Templars, I guess. The Templars are the ones who want this information. We make a lot of our money off of your good Templars that expect some privacy. I'll be discreet. Both of them last saw Iduna, the exotic wonder from the east. The exotic wonder? That's quite the stage name. It sounds better than the tramp from Dark Town. You should hear what some of the others are called. Well, uh, thanks. Thank you for your help. Sure thing. And listen, you didn't hear any of this from me. We clear? We clear. Hey, bud. Long time no see. Uncle? Well, I gotta go talk to a couple of them. She had her reasons. I'll talk to you too, buddy. Today's my rest day. I'll make an exception. Okay. Why work if you're not working hard? Oh, I like this. It reminds me of someone. I can see why Nanette likes you. You're feisty. <laughs> A refreshing change from the pale slug I married. I hear she finally left a worthless husband. Good for her. And I just wish she'd said goodbye. So, you think she left him? Did she tell you she left her husband? You know, I just hope that's what she did. Ghislaine only wants her for her family's wealth. Nanette's a jewel. Elegant, worldly, just the perfect level of depraved. Ghislaine doesn't deserve her. So, has he spoken to you? You know if she could be in trouble or anything? Do you think Nanette has come to harm? I hope not. Everyone loves Nanette. Sometimes twice a night. <laughs> Ghislaine's the only one who might hurt her. And he doesn't have the balls for it. Well, do you know anything else? Do you have any idea where she might be? Well, uh, there was someone else looking for Nanette. A Templar. I believe his name was Emmerich. He wouldn't sleep with me either. I can't see why a Templar... Yeah, could they be lovers? Someone else Nanette spent special alone time with, perhaps. She always liked men in uniform. You could ask him yourself. Emmerich said he'd continue his investigation in Dark Town. You could see if he's still there. And if you find Nanette, tell her to drop by and see me sometime.
Another reason I'm not bringing Bethany. What? Team Gale. Okay, time to talk to Iduna, exotic wonder from the east. I should do a real save. Okay, I do have a mage with me. You must be the exotic wonder of the East. Do you remember entertaining a Templar named Wilmot a few weeks ago? No, oh, she's definitely exotic in the wonder. No offense, but your closest, uh, your closer are uh, very low res. I mean, your clothes are pixelated. That's what I mean by low res. Questions are boring. What if he has some real stuff? Hawk, go easy on this lovely creature. You should listen to your friend. Uh, you okay, buddy? Uh, um, Varric, do you have a little Bianca in your pants? As charming and relentless as you are, I'm here to investigate. Answer one of my questions first. Who told you about little old me? Um, uh, ma'am, I'm asking questions here. Now, uh, how'd you do that? What foul magic was that? Blood and desire in equal measure. An art I learned from elsewhere. Blood magic, then? Yes, my friend. Please don't kill me. Talk. You're going to answer all my questions. And if there's even a hint of magic. Tehran couldn't be. The formidable Templar recruits to the sanctuary. Three Spear Alley in the Undercity. I enchanted Wilmot and Perry weeks ago. But after they left these walls, I know not what came of them. Please, let me live. It's not my fault. It was all Taranis' idea. Who? Tell me about Tarani. She put me up to this. She said we can recreate the ancient Imperium. That mages can rule again, not serve. <laughs> Tell me about the sanctuary. How many other mages are there? Any other defenses? People go in and out all the time. Sometimes a handful, sometimes more. There are traps. Magical traps. There's a hidden switch at the front. It turns them off. That's all I know. The Templars are coming for you. No more of your tricks. Stop the sanctuary and some answers. 
Sorry, Isabella, but I more suffering for her. Okay, there's a child in... Mm. I'm not even going to ask questions. Based on the name, somebody's child. One of the prostitutes got knocked up, and the child stays there. Eh, it could be worse places. I mean, it's not a great place, but... At least he's dry and probably fed... Well, into Dark Town. Come by there later. Let's take on the puppies. They're still kind of resting. Had an exciting morning of me uh, sneezing my head off. It is? Uh huh. Uh huh. However, the investigation has been a waste of time. Ah, uh, don't be so pessimistic. That sort of attitude will never pay off. Ha! I was eager at first, but failure has leached all enthusiasm from me. This all started when Meren, one of our circle mages, disappeared. I found it odd. She was a bit older and hardly adventurous. Then I heard about Ninette and two other missing women. So, haven't you tried tracking her down?
and as you've seen, asking the locals hasn't made me very popular. Well, you're a Templar in Darktown, so yeah. You got in the guards? Yeah, maybe she escaped. I'm not going to come up with better writing than what these guys, you know, the writers, professional writers come up with. So, uh, I'm not going to make smart comments. So, can I help? Can I assist your investigation? It's no longer my investigation, Durak. You may take over if you wish. This battle showed that I'm no longer the warrior I used to be. I know when to walk away. Here, take my findings. Perhaps you can make more use of them. I'm going back to the gallery. I'm too old for this. And man, he's dead. Well, I got more stuff to do, so I'm going to go do that. I mean, I gotta go help, um, some more Templar recruit. Okay, can't go through there. Okay, then. I guess this is what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to grab I'm going to grab Aveline for this one and Fenris or I'm going to grab um I'm thinking I'm going to grab Fenris. And Bethany. I think I'm going to grab Fenris and Bethany. So There we go. We need team health for this one. At least these quests don't take long. It's too bad I got so many of them. Okay, gotta walk this. Watch your step. All set.
Yeah, I can do that too, see? Hidden switch. My veil is a bit wobbly here. I detest this notion that the veil is some manner of invisible curtain that separates the world of the living from the world of the spirits. Whether it be called the fade or the beyond is a matter of racial politics or if you should indulge in at, in, in at the moment. There is no this side and that side when it comes to the veil. One cannot think of it as a physical object, nor a barrier, nor even a shimmering wall of holy light. Thank you very much for that image, your perfection. Think of the veil instead as opening one's eyes. Before you opened them, you saw our world as you see it now. Static, solid, unchanging. Now that they are open, you see our world as spirits see it. Chaotic, ever-changing, a realm where the imagined and the remembered have as much substance as that which is real. More, in fact. A spirit sees everything as defined by will and memory, and this is why they are so very lost when they cross <sighs> Sorry. when they cross the veil. In our world, imagination has no substance. Objects exist independently of how we remember them or what emotions we associate with them. Majors alone with possess po the power to change the world with their minds. Perhaps this forms the nature of a demon's attraction to them. Who can say? Regardless. I don't know what I'm doing. Regardless. The act of passing through the veil is much more about changing one's perceptions than a physical transformation. Translation. The veil is an idea. It is the act of transition itself. And is only the fact that both living beings and spirits find the transition difficult that gives the veil any credence as a physical barrier at all. From a dissertation on the fate as a physical manifestation by Marino, Senior Enchanter of the Minrathi Circle of Magi, 655, Steel. Loot the corpse. Save.
Oh, handsome. Okay, just in case. Well, there's the young, our young man. How wonderful. More vessels for our experiment. Where is Terran? Perhaps the demons will find one of you suitable. These mages always fall to the first demon's promise. I have not come home to this waste that ran crying to a demon. I sought them out and embraced them. Okay. Why have you taken the recruits? Demons can inhabit much more than mages and corpses. With assistance, they can control anyone I ask. Any Templar, any noble, any well meaning meddler. Well, you Please, um, she, 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 she's gone off the rails. Good to know you're barking mad. That makes things easier. In days of old, the De Winter Imperium spanned the known world. Demons were their allies, held in check by power and knowledge. With a wave of a hand, I could do more than a Templar can achieve in a lifetime. Yet they command us. Yeah, barking mad. A couple, the big ones. Hey there, kiddo. You okay there? Any clue, Beth? Bethany, can you tell if there's a demon in him? Sorry. As it happens, I've tried to avoid learning much about demons. That kind of knowledge is frowned on in an imposter. 
Well, uh, I guess I'll have to tell the Templars all this. Okay. Well, I've looted everything. <sighs> I mean, I've looted everything. Uh, Kirkwall. I'll leave the mate is, um, at home right now, I think. I got one of the things for the herbalist. Okay. I've got some good news and some bad news. What? What is it? Good news. Terran is safe. Bad news. Half of your recruits may have been possessed by demons. Sweet blood of Andrasta. Demons? Did you say something about recruits and demons? Just apostates. Uh, not all the mages are like that, unfortunately. I, my, my sister's pretty cool. Honestly, Terran did nothing wrong. You can't strip his livelihood on the off chance Tarani succeeded. Please, Mayor Clark, I'll prove I'm loyal. Ask me anything. My brother's forgiven, Mister. She would never 
And, and you were in a similar situation there, Colin. Now don't worry about it. You have done the order a great service. We will not forget it. Ah, I kind of figured my rivalry with uh, Fenris would go up again. I really got to work on that. You guys okay? Okay, do we got any more main quests? Okay. Go back to the docks, change up the party. I'll go with Meryl for my mage this time, I think. Ah, oh, my allergies have gone nuts today. Here you go. I'm looking for some cargo. Oh. With a smart man. You hardly ever see those. I'm looking for crates sealed by the Orlesian Port Authority. I haven't seen any. Sorry. Speak to the Arbor Master. I'll bet he's got information about your cargo. He's in his office. I come back and do the rest of that later. Then I'm going to do a lot of the coast stuff right now. to hit a shop soon. Tell with all the television shots. Oh, they're dragonlings. They're probably just hungry. That'd be my guess. Probably just hungry. Oh, 
this one, okay. Well, can you just can? You can't be nice yourself. You are no Templar. You cannot know what a badge of shame that would be. There are a number of apostates hiding in those caverns. I was hoping you might speak to the group. Convince them to surrender peacefully before my fellow Templars arrive. Okay. I've already done that, but you know. What's a phylactery? When a mage joins the circle, the first enchanter takes a sample of his blood. It is used as a sacred to trap the mage should he escape. And what will Templars do? So then I'll lose that one. This is what I do. I go fight mages. But I think this is what I always do, you know? Okay. Always happens to me. The corpses are stirring. Mages will always resort to the forbidden if they feel intimidated. Or threatened. I mean honestly, probably just feeling threatened. I mean, wouldn't you feel threatened? Checking on the puppies. They're very active. But they're going to be camping this weekend, so they're going to have fun. It's the annual Liberty Camping Trip. I missed it last year. So I'm kind of excited to actually, you know, go again this year. I'm just worried about the puppies. Considering uh, just over a week ago they went to the vet for the first time and puppies that are like super friendly and happy and like, oh, people, 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 we're going to pat me. All the people are like, 
nervous and terrified and it's just people seeing what we got just corpses Who? Who is he? Definitely. It was his decision. He kept saying that Templars would label us blood mages if we fled. Why not use it if it's our best tool? Typical excuse. He slit his wrist and the magic. It rose from the blood and woke the skeletons in the cave. I ran. Decimus is right. Blood magic is a work of evil, not just a power that Templars keep from us for spite. Well, uh... Young man wants to surrender. Probably a trap, but I'm going to let him surrender. I'm going to have to... What's my inventory looking like? Okay. Okay, just want to move some stuff to junk. Okay. Hi, sup. They're here. The Templars have come to take us back to the circle. Decimus, no. Stay your hand. These are no Templars. What do I care what shield they carry? If they challenge us, the gents of Hells will meet the call. Yeah, he's he's lost he, he's lost the plot. Against your own. 
Mal sie still. Okay. There is a Templar who followed us. You must have met him when you entered. Kill him, and we can get clear of Carthor before the Templar send more men. We should help him. We don't know what this good hearted Templar truly intends to do. Yes, let's murder a Templar. Surely that will help. Yeah, I'm not doing that. And, and how many, let me try something else that does not involve murdering a guy who's actually, you know, somewhat nice. So do I. Okay, let's loot the bot. Let's loot everything here. Anything more to loot? I'm just gonna convince him. I mean, honestly, that's the easiest thing to do. I'm not gonna kill a man who just lost his daughter. No offense. I'm sure you think you know what you're doing is right, but I am not going to kill a man who just lost his kid. to go uh, thank you Okay, save and convince Thrask that they're gone. Despite one of them just being right behind him. Ah! <sighs> I'm going to do it. Only small? Those freaks are using blood magic, but 
Mr. Curtin, their leader, Rack. He was heading for the coast last I saw them. Your men are in pursuit. We can still catch up if we go around the caverns. That's the faster route. The coast, you say? Men, fan out, search the shore. We will retrieve these corpses later. The Knight's commander will hear of the search. Could do it. Truly, we must be able to charm a miser out of his last coin. I did not think any of us could leave those caverns alive. Well, you're not alive. Make you feel better. Officially, you were killed during escape. I will do my best to seem cold and reckless then. Please, accept my staff as a reward. It has the mark of Starkwood in it. I dare not carry it. Ahoy, Peter Parker. Yep, rivalry with Fenris went up again. <sighs> it always makes it harder to romance him when um that. Yeah, so I can it's so I can um be heard over it. Let me turn it up if you wanna. Let's go to about there. I don't know if that's gonna be any better. Okay, I have to get out of here. I already looted everything. Uh, yeah, he's grumpy, but... He's the one I tend to end up romancing. I bet, but I think, but they look awesome. I would like to have a set of these, uh, those kind of daggers for, like, cosplay and stuff like that. I've got the foam to make them. I just gotta make them sometime. Figured I could make them out of foam. But definitely, yeah, I can see them being very impractical. But I love the way they look. I have a mod on to turn a couple of the other daggers into those because I just like the way they look. Oh, wow. Eight years. I would, I, I would lose patience. I would start working on that, and then it would just probably sit in the closet for like, you know, you know, work on it for like a month or two, and then it'd be in the closet for like eight years, until I thought about it again. Uh, how many dark spawn are there? Too many. Always too many dark spawn. Yeah, lights are very silly. Where are we going? There's there's more. There's an ogre around here somewhere too. I know it. I remember that. There it is. My second least favorite monster. Oh, you know what? I forgot my dog. Oh. Uh, all right, I got it. Without getting uh, getting grabbed by somebody. I 
hate ogres. They're almost as bad as giant spiders in Dragon Age Origins. Almost. At least the ogre doesn't jump on your face. They just grab you. Okay. Off to... Here. Okay. Not that there are many good places to that, is there? Oh no, there's some really nice whoop, yeah, nice forests and stuff you can get lost in. Maybe not around Kirkwall. Okay. I am? Hey, greetings from Ferelden. Rogue's just my favorite class in general. I mean, yeah, it's a great class for Dragon Age 2. It's the best class for Origins because, uh... If you're not playing a Rogue, you have to have a mod so you can bash open the locks uh, or the chests in Ostagar. And I just like playing Rogue. It's also my favorite class in Inquisition. But then again, I like being able to, you know, throw something at somebody and, um... Kick him in the face. You know, pulling myself to them. Turning myself into a projectile weapon. Always fun. Okay. Bone Pit. Oh, yeah. It's a good idea. Jeez, even the Magisters are like... At least yeah, a Magister's like, Yeah, this might be a little bad. But nah. Nothing happened. Okay. There's a foul wind coming from that cavern. I smell death. Are you sure that was death? Um, Crypto could have just had some beans for lunch. I don't know what Uncle Gamlin feeds him. And if you've ever smelled some dog sparts, oh my god. They smell like death. Well, at least we know what happened. Bone Pits and Dragons! Yeah, but these Dragonlings are probably just hungry. Probably just hungry. There we go. A dragon Iris? Did I just 
pull out, I pulled out the dragon's eye. Ugh. Well, our poor dragon's eye. Well, it was dead dragon, so it's not like it's gonna miss it. But still. Okay. Okay, Crypto. I'm gonna need a puppers. Not you, Crypto. You can stay asleep in there. I like the look on that, that, that dragonling's face. This dragon. Definitely don't need the money. Okay, you guys stay here. Okay. Oh, great. My oh, Bari's broken again. Always happens. And who's got the level up? Everybody. Not quite. Fenders can handle himself. I can't get to every door. Seems to be unhealthy. Oh yeah, don't get on my bad side. See if Crypto's still broken. Crypto's broken. My dog is broken. Again. Nice and trusty you came along. 
Them dragons would have sniffed me out for certain. Hold on. What happened here? I'll tell you what I can. But be a friend and keep your voice down. There's another dragon close by. Okay. So, what happened? Where the dragons come from? We was Besides mommy and daddy dragon. And dragons came through. There was a bloody slaughter. Scared out of my wits. I ran like my ass was on fire. It probably was. Only I went the wrong way. Ended up trapped here. Any other survivors? Anyone else managed to escape? Some of my fellows ran for the surface. I hope they made it. Well, you run. Get going. Try not to get eaten. Don't have to tell me twice. You should leave too. But don't go that way. There's this huge dragon. Oh, are we going to go that way? I've never seen a huge dragon before. Well, we know which way uh, Meryl wants to go. She wants to see the huge dragon. Uh, if some of Bari's broken. And I gotta fight a huge dragon. I might as well. Um, wait for him to be ready to respawn. I really would love to have a game about the Battle of the Squealing Plains. Probably not going to have any effect there, so... That one's evade. Okay. Focus on me. Focus on me. Good dragon. Good dragon. That was a very good dragon. Very good dragon. Okay. Let me save and then head back. Okay. Back to the gallows. Okay. Certainly hmm. your people have stories about Dalish, no? My people? The elves in Tavinta. They must have heard of us. They've heard. They just don't care. But if they run away, the Dalish would help them. You might as well say. If they flew into the sky, they could live in the clouds. What would they eat in the clouds? There's nothing there but fluff and the occasional bird. This is why nobody takes the Dalish seriously. I do. Why do you think I have a mod in so I can play an elf? Okay. 
How are you doing, Thrask? The Knight Commander will not give up on finding the Starkhaven mages. She has ordered a dozen men to sweep the countryside. Oh, I'll keep them busy. I should hit the shop too so I can get rid of some junk. Don't mind me, I am just gonna sell all my junk. I must see what's all here. Okay, not yet. What do I got to do? Go to High Town. Low Town, Docks. Okay. Let's go to the docks then. I want to see where everybody's approval is. I'll do that later. To your chest. Oh, the broody elf tells a joke. I don't brood. Friend, if your brooding were any more impressive, women would swoon as you passed. They'd have broody babies in your honor. You're a very odd dwarf. And you thought I was joking about the pit. He is a broody elf. I'll do that one. We'll finish that one later. Low town. Come on. Back to the alienage in one piece, then? I don't know how I wound up in Darkstone. There are just too many corners in Kirkwall. Still got that ball of twine? I left it at my house. Don't worry, I won't get lost while we're following Hawk. Bring it next time, Daisy. Just in case. Okay, and you're over this way. Here you go, Bonwald. Check your purse. I think you lost something. Where did you get this? It's just what I need. Thank you. Okay. Where else do I have quests?
Up to high town. Let's see what's on here. Let's go to the keep. Then we'll go to high town. Okay, where there I am. How much longer do I have to wait? Soon to be guard captain. Here you go. I think you let this get away from you. You found this? I don't know what to say. Cards must get paid very well. I should have gotten hired as a guard. I'd be a good guard. Though I can't summon a bear anymore. Bear was best guard. Okay. Lots of little quests. Why are you watching me like that? You have valid keys. The same markings that the Dalek had. Yours are not made of lyrium. No, they're made of blood. Our blood. That's what valid keys mean. Blood writing. It's a mark of adulthood. Mine were carved into my flesh against my will in a ritual I remember only for the agony it caused me. I'm so sorry. Welcome to the High Town Market. I solved your problem. So, what happened? One of the miners told me you rescued him from dragons. I cuffed him for lying. Well, he wasn't. Go there and see the corpses for yourself. But I thought they're extinct. Nope. I believe nope. You. It is the Dragon Age, after all. Extinct again? If it is safe, the miners can return to work. <sighs> I bet their first task will be cleaning up the entrails the last shift left behind. A dragon killer and a mind reader. Wonderful. I was joking. Let us discuss your payment. You have been a great help. Since you did so much more than I was expecting, how about we work together? I am offering a 50-50 share in the mine. You will make us both rich if you can keep your countrymen safe. Okay. Why you share half your business with me? I spent a decade honing my business instincts in Balroyo. I once sold a seat cushion to Empress Selene. Simply put, I have a good feeling. And then she probably hit her, you know, get sparred with it. You say? Uh, yeah, did it. Seems like the miners could use protection and an advocate. So, to our first order of business. We replace the lost workers. I will hire new hands. Plenty of desperate Ferelden's out there, but it will take some time. I need you to convince the surviving miners to return. They are holed up in Low Town. Tell them the Bone Pit is safe again. Okay, I will. I'll see what I can do. Okay. Back to Low Town. Okay. I don't want your pity. Are you talking to me? You said you were sorry about the ritual I endured. Keep your sorrow. I only meant... You have all the freedom none of our kind enjoy, and you throw it away. And what? 
Our people need to reclaim their heritage. A heritage of defeat? To what end? Would you truly turn your back on your own history? There's so much we don't know. It's not my history. It's simply history. Da, 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 da. I guess I know what I'm doing right now. Oh. My stream manager, please. Thank you. Okay. Uh, spam. No, oh, no, not yet. There we go. There we go. I took dealt with that. Sorry, I had, I had to moderate too. Okay. Get my workers back. And an elf. A thousand thanks for saving Jansen's worthless hide. Worthless, am I? My farm supplied eggplant half of the South Reach. Yeah? My eggplant supplied half the bastards in South Reach. <laughs> They're drunk. <laughs> You're a real hero. Now, what brings you here? Well, mine. Shuffle off to the mine and let me finish those pints for you. Come back to that blight taking hold. I need work, but I don't need to be some dragon's dinner. What if there's more dragons later? Or something worse like, uh, bigger dragons? I go back to the missus without this job. She'll rip me apart, sure as any dragon. What can we do? That bastard Hubert is the only one willing to hire us. Well, uh, you got me. I own half the mine now. I'll keep it safe. Really? Well, be nice to work for one of our own. If you don't give us a fair shake, who would? Back to work, boys. I'm happy to take more of Hubert's coin. Okay. Now what's left? Okay, swap out the party. I'll go with uh, Evelyn and Bethany in this one. Okay. Here, miss. Word is you're looking for help and paying well. I need someone native to the dark places beneath Lowtown. If you claim as much, yes, I will pay. I am, I am. Let's just step into this alley and me and my fellows can have a look at the money on offer. Another sad low town tale in the making. As if we needed another. Can you save someone so intent on being foolish? Look, I gotta get to a thing, so, um. 
How about we say, um... Jeez, Bethany, you're throwing fireballs all over the place. Well, you're gonna singe my bridges. I am out of my element. Surely you didn't realize that just now. I had to come here to get the type of person I need. Someone of bloody skill, but also integrity. Perhaps the kind who might leap to someone's defense. I have a charge who needs passage from the city. If you are willing and capable, meet me at my safe house nearby. Uh, have we met? Saved you in an alley, and suddenly we're in business. You're in Lowtown. What grand scheme could I be interrupting? You have no clue. Why is the Templar guarding her? Is this a setup? I hope you will come. This matter only grows more urgent with time. Yeah, this was a setup. Oh, I wish we could just have let her die. Oh, this isn't good. Yeah, so do I. Most foundries do not have demon employees. Some do. The really good ones do. But most uh, tend not to. Oh, this can't be good. Oza. Those are human bones, aren't they? I'm gonna be sick. A severed hand, a ring, and a pile of bones. Emmerich will want to see this. And I should bring the ring to Gislay. It might belong to Nanette. Okay. Okay. More demons. Which means more XP. Oh, I just get the big ones. Okay. Too bad I can't let her, uh, favorite gentleman of the evening, uh, know her fate. He really seemed to like her.
Um, well, this is taking a while. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna finish this quest up here. I'll be in the gallows, most likely. So I'll head there during the daytime. I'm gonna turn the AC back on. My computer's getting pretty warm. I'm going to turn chat off for a little bit. That's probably why it's going a little slow right now. It's getting a little warm. Emmerich? Shades. These are human bones. But there is no chance of finding Meren alive, or any of the others. I saw someone leaving the scene, but they got away. I'm sorry. It was more than I accomplished. My people have been slow to react, but this needs official support. I will bring this to the city guard immediately. You just did. It should be enough to convince them the disappearances are worth investigating. I wonder how Grace is doing. Do you think they got away? Probably. Okay. I'll finish this one. I'm trying to figure out what to do tomorrow. Okay. Oh, Mr. Templar. Nope. Not short. About your height, actually. Shipping manifest. Uh, inquiry. Funny how that works. I can't imagine what you mean. The clink of gold coin often jogs my memory. Yeah, sure, why not? This enough to help you remember. Ah, it's coming back to me. The cargo is in Alton Woodrow's warehouse, by the dock. I'm glad we could help each other out. Ah. <sighs> I think I'm going to take Anders and Fenris. Did I leave some? Okay. up this is 
private property. There's a fire on the other side of this row. Get help before it spreads. What? Don't you hear the screaming? Are you deaf? I don't hear anything. Well, I can't really hear too much through that hair. That helmet. Place. Sometimes it's worth it just to talk your way through things. Be down at the bottom of the stairs. That should do it. Was there any doubt? I mean, honestly, was there any doubt that we'd win? We're pretty good at this kind of thing. Meanwhile, walking is, you know, we're not that good at. Okay, almost. Gonna look all the cargo. Don't worry, Crypto's on guard. I'll take all this. I wouldn't read that in if I were you. Looks like Martin's trading in death. No, so are we. We just happen to kill people. The old fashioned way. With our fists and knives and stabs and Okay, maybe it's not the old fashioned way. Maybe it's a newfangled way.
you know, I bet the city guard spends more time cleaning up my mess after my, after me than um, actually doing their jobs as, as guard. Okay. someone's heart out of his chest I did that at the behest of no demon so we agree that it doesn't take a demon for someone to be a vicious killer good sorry Fenris I do think you lost that one Almost done. So what's with that magical fisting thing you do? Um, sorry? You know, when you stick your hand into people. Oh, that. Yes, it's a uh, talent. You could make so much coin with that. Yeah, he could. And then there's the other magical fisting thing he does. But we won't go into that here. Guess what I found. Crates filled with enough poison to assassinate every noble in Orlais, and then some. <sighs> I knew I should have told you not to look in the crates. Look, there's nothing shady going on here. I got the stuff from a legitimate supplier, and I'm going to sell it through legitimate channels. It's all legitimate. It's poison. It kills people. And rats. I'm not responsible for what people do with it. So, where is it? Do you know where Alton Woodrow's warehouse is? Merchant Woodrow's place. I know it. Thanks for this, friend. You've more than earned your reward. I'm going to get my goods. You come back once I'm set up, I'll give you a discount. Now he's gone, I can loot the place. Okay, what's left? Okay. Eh, let's go to Meryl's house. Let's just go straight to Meryl's house. Meryl. This city is amazing. Do you know I saw someone get mugged? Right outside. It was fascinating. Everything happens here all at once. How does anyone keep it all straight? Mugging is fascinating? Someone has jumped outside your door and that's exciting. It must be the alien age grouping. Hasn't happened to me yet though. They must not like me. Or they like you too much. It's so busy here. So many things just get lost. Think of it like a game. 
You can pick up all the things people drop and overlook. Maybe count them. <laughs> I think they mostly drop garbage. I'm glad you came by. I needed someone to talk to. I should have investigated. Okay. Probably because nobody likes you gambling. Uh, dear Bethany. I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened to Tamara. I think her family fled to Redcliffe, but I haven't been able to locate them. I don't have much hope left, but miracles can happen. I'll... I will keep trying. I know Tamara was a close friend. I'll write you as soon as I hear something. I hope your family is doing well in Kirkwall. Please send my love to your mother. I will keep praying for you all. Sincerely, Sister Ursula. There was one left. One left. Oh, this was definitely a setup. She's like right across the street from me. Blah, 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 blah. This is my charge. A Cerebus? Here? Would even a Templar bind a mage like this? A survivor of infighting with their Talvashoth outcasts. I call him Katojin, a bridge between worlds. The Viscount and others feel that peace begins with appeasement. This mage would likely be returned to his brutal kin. He can serve a better purpose. Mm. I want him free. He must be guided from the city without alerting his people, or being seen in my care. Okay, how do you hang it? Don't just stumble on something, someone like this. For all their blasphemous certainty, the Kunari do have deserters. Those who seek freedom are hunted mercilessly. Talbashaw. They seem to accept the role. Even their rebels can fall. Savonel observed one of their bloody exchanges. This poor mage was the only survivor. And you think this mage was being hunted? I am certain no thinking creature would willingly submit to this. If he was not running before, he has seized the opportunity now. So... is an open challenge but for now i must mm. act on my own helping me <sighs> shows how kunari heresy cannot be ignored his flight is vital well you could just take him to the circle so helpful a new life with that collar seems doubtful and yet it is more than he has 
My reach is limited. His struggle is his own. It just seems like releasing a bird, cage and all. We do what we can to step toward what is right. That must be enough. <sighs> I don't know his capabilities or if he can function at all in that collar, but I think he knows we are his only way out. You think? He's followed every direction and made no aggressive moves, even when taunted. Were I in his place, I could have fled. Kunari or not, I can only assume he wants to be led to freedom. You're not interested in who you might be hiring? If you were important enough to know, I would need someone else. But if you insist, what is your... I, I was asking questions because I never... My name is Hawk. D turn that to. Very Ferelden. The Canari have hardly pressured the southern nations. You have not seen as many converts or those who refused. If this action, if any action, can lessen their influence, it must be done. Oh, this is going to be trouble. I can get him out of Kirkwall. He's a bit conspicuous for the streets, though. We must help this poor creature. He has faced worse than what I was from. That is obviously not an option. You must avoid incident with the guards. I cannot be linked to this. This mage will be a fine example of how cruel Kunari are, even to their own. But only if this plays out just so. The passage here leads to the warrens of the Undercity. It is dangerous, but that is why you are hired. Good luck. Okay. This man out. Do it or don't, but get out of my sight, Ferelden. He's not a very pleasant man, is he? He's not very pleasant. He's not very chipper. He, you know what? He needs a vacation. Just saying, he needs a vacation. Spiders are laying a lot of traps. Okay. More spiders. Where is he? Probably broken as a dog. Oh, look at this. I'm the city's fear. 
feared by all. But there's no shortage of fools with coin who want to test it. What is this thing? Call it like a dog, you old bitch. He's some sort of canary lover. Maybe I should get rid of you and see who will pay the most for your pet. I don't think it likes you threatening its master. Maybe we let this one pass. No. A voice of reason. What's he doing with you? You lot think you're so damn right. Buying everything, running free marches like me into our own sewers. You want us bound like this thing? I'd see you dead first. I don't think kill it, kill them all. Where are a So you did what I said. Did I hit the right phrase or something? He may not know himself. Did you react because your need was threatened? I know that kind of blind instinct. It is hard to judge how much control he has. <laughs> So you can't gesture or, or stomp your feet twice for yes or something. <laughs> for all we know, he's asking for a chamber pot. Well, keep control and remember who is on your side. <laughs> of course, I expected no different. I do feel sorry for Cotillion. He seems like a nice guy. Okay. Final one. Deal with this. So, are any of you guys the Leaning Canary? No offense, but you all have the same model. You will hold Basra Bashidan. I am Arvarad, and I claim possession of Serabas at your heel. The members of his Karatan were killed by Talvashoth, but their disposal leads only here, to Serabas and you. Oh, wonderful. I just got here, coming from the other way. If there was a trail, I didn't leave it. Yet you are here with Serabas. The crime is his freedom, his leash held by unknowing Basroth. We will not allow that danger to continue. Let your own mages doom you. Serabas will be properly confined. And if he doesn't want to go back? Serabas, show that your will remains bound to the queue. <laughs> He has only followed you because he wants to be led. He has allowed no other purpose. So... The sister calls him Katoja. You are Sarah. 
Cerevat. Cerevas is his role and his name, as you understand it. It is the accusation and acknowledgement of being a mage. And you are Avarad? My role is to hold the leash and hunt the Grey Ones who leave the cube. Or Vaz who have not yet been enlightened. So... and contagious. Not even your Templars fully grasp that threat. Is a mage like Bethany so threatening? I don't see it. I'd hope not, brother. You and Sarah Bas, Bas, Sarah Bas, are of the same womb? Oh, yeah. Vashidat! Neira Setar Karatham! You spewed your words at me like a demon trying to poison my control. Like this mage, the cube requires your death. But we're no threat to each other. Boss Serapos, you will be no threat to us. Well, this one's mine. I thought we had something, Arvarad. We were talking so nicely. I thought we could be friends. So you just gonna accept death? After all of this, now you want to die. I do not want to die. I want to live by the cube. Which means dying. Yes. Is that hard to grasp? Okay, but what what if you what if he was wrong? And what if I hadn't killed him? Trying to tell us, huh? Of your kind live outside the cube. You could join them. They are not my kind. I am Kinari. They are not. They have chosen to be free. Free? They have refused what they are. I can't choose to not be. 
Okay then. Well. My job ended when we exited the city. The rest is up to you. You know of certainty and borders. No, I just don't have any other choices. Oh boy. I have no words. That poor creature. She may not have known about this, but clearly Patrice set a trail right to us. It seems likely she set them on us. Why? No, we'll find out soon enough. I'm all bodies. I am just going to loot bodies and that's it. Uh, I guess so. Back to Kirkwall. But we can't lie to her and say, yeah, D3, we're good. I mean, honestly, she could stay with me. We could hang out, talk. Bethany could teach him things. Oh yeah, everything's fine. I think the incident was rather your idea. Mind your tongue, dwarf. Please, do speak your mind. Okay. Don't string me along. You know that I know. Whether you believe it or not, I wished you no harm. That might have been useful for someone, but still regrettable. A massacre of citizens protecting a slave might have forced the Chantry to doubt appeasement. To see the Kunari for the monsters they are. Perhaps finding the mage was a rushed opportunity. If such a plot existed, I see how it might be disagreeable to you. You know what? The the poor Ketoja killed himself rather than be free. I assumed he wanted to escape, just as I would. My pity is genuine. You know what? I just want my money. I want no part of your little war. Pay me what I'm due. Take your coin. Disappear back into Lowtown. Rest assured, I will not make the mistake of looking for help outside the faithful again. The stakes, eternity, are just too high. She's gonna be trouble down the road. Oh yeah. Now well, let's see if there's any loot. Nope, no loot. Well, I think that's it. I 
I think that's it. Let me go to the hanged man. Get everybody leveled up. Actually, you know what? Let's level everybody up. I think you see the levels. Okay, one ability point. There we go. Talk to the suspicious lady here. Anything else? That's not much to go on. It's enough to do the job. Okay. Just tell me where they are. All the details are in this letter. If you manage to eavesdrop on the meeting before you kill them, there'll be extra in it for you. I'll be here. Okay. Um Do the uh... okay then. Let's do it. I'm going to continue playing for a little bit longer. Normally I only do uh, three hours, but I'm going to be honest. Okay.
Nope. I'm gonna load. I want to see if I can eavesdrop. It's gonna be a way to eavesdrop. What? What's the quest? What, what is this quest name? What is this name? Secret. Rendezvous. Okay, can I listen? Okay, well, so I can just do it that way. I'll do it from there. Okay. I want you guys close by if I need you, but... I got a ship captain with me too. Hey, I know you guys are guard captains. Okay, we did it. Let's loot the bodies. Okay. Back to the hanged man, I guess. I actually have enough money, right? Money, right? Someone powerful in Kirkwall wants the raiders to attack Amaranthine ships. As I suspected. You've earned a bonus. You've done Ferelden and Amaranthine a great service. Okay, leveled up again. Ok, 
Okay. Okay. Well then, I guess... Only a few more things to do. Another messenger came by with a letter hit on the desk. Good. I understand you dire need some coin, if that's true. I have believe I purpose for you, blah blah blah. I mean I don't need the coin. I'm just gonna Oh yeah, I definitely do not need the coin. Just gonna sell some stuff. Make sure ugh, my goose got the proper equipment. And figure out who I'm going to take with me. Okay. Just want to sell junk. Have plenty of coin. Okay. Load up all the armor. I'm going to get rid of this now. Oh, I'm going to get some lunch here soon. I'm going to grab all the armor here. Then I want to do a quick search to make sure I got all the backpacks. Oh, 
Okay, to the hanged man. There we go. Isabella. That is that is Helm of the Vanguard. Okay, Evelyn. Okay, who am I going to take with me? I think I'm going to take a healer. Okay. Back to Gamlin's house. Let's throw everything back in there.
I think I may still have that. Ugh, valuable junk mod on. Okay. Back to the hangman. And I figure out who my party's gonna be. I think I'm gonna take Fenris. Okay, he's full up, she's full up, he's full up. She's full up. She can use another ring. He can use another ring. Mm -hmm. Okay, who should I take with me? Okay, next. Um, I want to look up backpacks and gifts. Make sure I got everything. Okay, Act 1. I have 70 right now, so 1, 2, 3 left. Okay. So I got all the backpacks from the first one. Okay. Because there's one in Low Town at the apparel shop and one at the rope shop in high town make sure I got them then I want to make sure I've taken care of any possible gifts
much of it. Didn't your family consider that dangerous? There are mages who go their whole lives without ever falling prey to a demon. Many of them, in fact. And if the Templars came looking for you, that would not be danger enough. Perhaps there shouldn't be any Templars. The apparel shop is up here. Just want to make sure. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go all the way up to High Town. I think I got all of them. You cannot wish the Templars away. I can try. Is the circle here truly so terrible an option? Do you really have to ask that? You would be kept safe from others as well as from yourself. They would be kept safe from you. I didn't ask for this. Nobody asks for their fate. couldn't bring back your wife, but here's a ring. It looks pricey. Oh, Nimitz wedding ring. Yes, look at the engraving. Forever faithful, forever yours. Oh, written in happier times. Where did you find it? Mm -mm. Just know that she will not return. Better this way. Our marriage has been in shambles for more than a decade. I send the ring to her family. Look, these are pieces. Thank you for all your help, Sarah. Make her what you will. Yeah, that was something that's like, I don't think I can tell him. He may be kind of a pig, but. John Luke. Okay, I did get all the backpacks. Okay. And I want to see if there's any gifts for Act 1. Okay. And that is it. Which is the only one there. Okay. Plenty in Act 2, but nothing here. Okay. Last quest. Whoops. Supposed to be at night. <sighs> this is the last quest. Well, let's go to the hangman and drink, my, drink the day away. Do a little day drinking. Make sure all the quests are done.
McDougal. I know I don't need the money, but I want to. Well, well, if it isn't the man of the hour. Do I know you? I know him. I thought Bartrick told you to clear off your look. Calm yourself, Perry. I just wanted to meet your brother's new business partner. Oh, he's very eager. Yes, Bartrick was falling all over himself to enlist my help. And that's what I need to talk to you about. Dougal's one of my dear brother's ex-partners. Bartrand turned aside my offer of help, even though I had the coin to spare. Thing is, I still think it's a promising venture. The fool won't let me invest, but if someone like you invested on my behalf... And why not? Bartrand was pretty desperate for help. He must have had a good reason to turn you down. He did. We had a disagreement. They tried to kill each other. You've met Bartrand, yes? Someone would need the patience of a Bronto not to want to kill him. But what's done is done. Now his pride won't let him take my coin, even if it ruins him. And? Just what kind of terms are we talking about here? I give you what Bartrand needs. Bartrand thinks it's your coin. Then when the expedition's done, you pay me back double. Farrick? What do you think? Hard to say. Dougal's never done me any harm. See? There you go. Still don't trust you. You're a sour bastard and my brother without the family connection to make it easier to swallow. Do what you like. I came to you, not to him. But we do need the coin. I mean, I got plenty of coin. I got plenty of coin. I'm not too worried about the coin. But you know what? I'm going to do it. You know what? I haven't done this before. I'm going to do it. I've got the coin, but eh. Why not? I can never resist a shady deal. Marvelous. You tell Bartrand that the coin's on the way. I'll have it delivered to him discreetly. Good luck on your expedition, my friend. We shall meet again. I mean, why not? And I can easily pay him back. Okay, I'm going to go back to get, uh, go back home. Do a quick save. And head out on the expedition. I thought she ever hated you. Grandmother didn't want you to leave. She tried holding on to you the only way she knew. She would have been so proud of you. You're everything she wanted in an American. Whoops, sorry, but my mouth my she mic. She might have had a hard time accepting it at first. She would have loved you. All three of you. Carver. He was such a little boy. Never had a knee that wasn't scraped or trousers without holes. Despite him being a bastard, I do miss him. Uncle. So what? Are you here to gloat? Gamlin's the idiot again. 
Gamblin's the fool who can't hold his money when it's given in a bloody silver basket. I tried, you know, when Leandra left. But no one was ever going to live up to her. So, tell me about what she was what like when she was young. As a girl, we're only a year apart. But that was time enough for Leandra to get our parents wrapped firmly around her little finger. They showed her off at every opportunity. The beauty, the scholar, the light of their lives. As far as they were concerned, they should have stopped there. I've seen the nobles in this town. Your parents must have had a fortune. Where did it all go? Well, it, it's not like I stood at the side of the wharf and hurled it. Might as well have. I tried to invest it. But got some good tips on trade in Kunhari cheeses. That's and delicious. You know, a man got needs. I'm not denying I spent more on myself than I should have. But I figured it'd all work out. Eh, you know, I want to be nice. He's family. Sure. Okay. Actually, you know what? Before I do a save, I'm going to talk to everybody. Let's start in Darktown and work our way up. I want to make sure I'm not missing any more conversations. Well, I could use a little sprucing up. Maybe a plant in the corner there. Let's go to Meryl's house. I just want to make sure like I said, didn't miss any conversations. Man, anything interesting happening around town? Not really. Okay. 
I town. Oops, I should have gone to Fenris's house. I can still do that. Make sure I'm not missing any conversations. Or any chances to flirt with Fenris. Okay, I gotta get something to eat here in a second. That's about everybody then. Okay. I'll take Fenris. He's the muscle. Okay, I'm going to take a brief break right here. Um, I'm getting hungry, so I need to get some lunch of me. So I will be back in a little bit. See you on the flip side. Okay, I think I'm back. I think I'm back. This is my team for the... Well, not my team for the deep roads. Taking on the puppies. Oh, inventory kind of cleared out. Cause this is a big one. There. Where did you get off to? And what are you planning? Bartrand. So suspicious. I have in fact brought us our future partner. What? promising something like that because if we don't get this expedition moving brother then we won't have any profits to argue about will we hmm. maybe you have a point oh i feel so welcome There's in this so much love here it's very comforting what i'd love is the coin to back up my brother's confidence how about it Smith? i do have your coin in fact 
you're joking. What did I tell you, Bartrand? Not bad for a human. I ain't no sham. Full share of the profit between you, me, and Farron. Now we just need a decent entrance into the deep rooms. Right, here you go. These might be just what we need. What's this? Three, four entrances into the deep roads, all the free marches? Where'd you get these? Didn't I tell you we could find a Grey Warden? Mother didn't raise a fool. Well, she didn't raise two of them. Well, calm and astounding. <laughs> we just pick the most promising one and go. See, we got this. How many visits you have in the city, my friend? We'll be gone for several weeks at least. Let me know as soon as you're ready and we'll head out. And let's do it. Ready? It's a long trek. If you have any business you need to wrap up here, you'd better do it now. Let's go. I'm ready. Let's get started. And let's not waste any more time. We've chosen one of the hidden entrances. The deep roads there will be nice and virginal, ready for a good deflowering. Ew. Okay, well, I already p picked up my team, so. Sorry, Bethany. I'm gonna stay here. Oh, come on. Trust me, this is no picnic. I'd stay if I could. Fair enough. I hope you're right. Plus, yeah, just in case anything does happen to me. At least, you know, Mom's still got one of the kids left. Personal drama over with. Now let's get underway. It's been a long time coming, eh, brother? I'm seeing what they got in there, what they got. No, this can't be right. The champion and his apostate sister came to Kirkwall to spread subversion against the Chantry. But you claim this wasn't the case. The champion just happened to have dealings with the Canari, joined forces with a known raider, a blood mage, a rebel warden, and for what? Coin? Maybe it's not as simple as you imagine, Seeker. It's a vital life for his family. Do I need to remind you what your friends did? Do I need to tell you how many lives have been lost? How many more will be lost? You cannot sit there and tell me he is innocent. I don't know if innocent is the right word exactly. He must have known. Somehow the champion knew what was down there. That's why he wanted to join your expedition. <laughs> no. None of us knew. If we had, this would have all turned out very differently. Is that so? Then tell me your version of what happened on this expedition. Well, we entered the deep roads as planned, but... We didn't get very far.
There's been a collapse. The way forward is blocked. What? Is there some way around? Not that I've been able to find. The side passages are too dangerous. Some castless surfacer. Not a very nice man. Problems, brother. Starting deep roads. Who knows how long it'll take to clear the path? Shall we not try to find a way around instead? Seems like the logical choice. You think I'm an idiot, Farrick? The scouts say the side passages are too dangerous. Well, I'm not a scout, so. This is why you bring someone like me along. We'll take a look. If we come running back, screaming, you'll know staying put. This is why I left the wardens. I hate the blighted deep roads. Yeah, so do I. Anti your burdens, my friends, but I fear I'm out. I fear my boys hey, buddy. wandered off. Hey, could tell. Right this is why I named him Mumbari Crypto. Like my puppy's named Crypto. <sighs> so how do you get missing? Yeah, I think he's still alive. One man out there alone. What are his chances? My boy is sturdier than you think. <laughs> he has one of his enchantments with him. He'll survive. He's burnt down a house twice by accident. I'm more worried about him getting lost. Oh, my poor boy. Well, we'll go find him. We'll bring him back in one piece. Or maybe two. Hard to say, really. Poor Sandal. I can't believe he's done this. I can. Okay. Okay, loot the bodies. I need to... I, mean, I gotta pay back double, so... <clears throat> I need money. Oh yeah. How long do you suppose it's been since anyone walked here? 
for the dark spawn. Uh, wild, and I hate this place. All the loot and all the money I can get. Go up to what you got. Okay. <sighs> Still hate the deep roads. Snuck up behind us, huh? I mean, this is a deep road. Still hate them. Not it 
just make it. Smart boy. Come on. We still need to find a way past that collapse. Oh, yeah. So how he did that? I have theories. Most of them involve, um, he's different. There isn't a dwarf alive who remembers the deep roads that they once were. They were a network of tunnels that joined the tags together. To be honest, it isn't even right to give them such a symbol term as tunnels. They are works of art with centuries of planning demonstrated in the geometry of their walls. <coughs> Excuse me. With the statues of the paragons that watch over travelers. With the flow of lava that keeps the deep roads lit and warm. The cloud gazes on the surface talk of the imperial highway built by the medicers of old. A raised walkway that crossed thousands of miles. Something that could have only been built by magic. Perhaps it is comparable to the deep roads, though we dwarves didn't need magic. I suppose it doesn't matter anymore. The dark spawn rule the deep roads now. When Orzammar sealed off the entrances to the deep roads, abandoning everything that lay out there, we handed over the kingdom that was to those black bastards forever. To think that there are Glenlocks crawling all over Bonama right now, tearing down our statues and defiling our greatest works. <sighs> Corruption covers everything we built out there. Every dwarf who goes out and comes back says it gets worse with each passing year. The foulness spreads a little further. And the cloud gazers think the darkspawn are gone just because they aren't spilling onto the surface. One day, when all is more is gone for good, they'll find out differently. Those darkspawn won't have anywhere else to go but up, and they'll do it. The surface folk will have themselves a blight that will never end. Uh, transcript of a conversation with a member of the Dwarven Mining Cast, 890. Blessed. Oh, even more? These are worse than Falmer. Where do we got? Okay, he's got a toy. Making sure he's got a toy and not something that he shouldn't have. Great more. Uh, 
<clears throat> See, they make such a cute couple. Okay. Can't go in there yet. Let's get all the traps taken care of. Oh, so many traps. Great, another dragon. I think we found a way around. I'm just saying. Okay, who's banging the bottom of my chair? No, we're staying inside. It is way too warm today, Crypto. Way too warm. It is sunny and hot out. Hopefully it's not like this next week. Maybe we can get a rock to fall on him. Bartrand, we found a way around your damn cave in. About time. Let's move out. You know, you could be a little nicer, man. I mean, 
Now yeah, we're do one's doing the work. Yeah, I'm gonna turn the flight cam on. I want to take a look around that. Uh, take a, a look in a way that I normally can't. Do I have a lot of statues of paragons? below the deep roots. Whatever dwarves lived here, they came long before the first blight. But where are the statues of Paragon? I don't recognize these markings on the wall or anything in the rubble. Well? Whatever's here must be very rare and valuable. Possibly. These dwarves might have been unique. If so, I hope they keep their valuables close at hand. How are you guys doing? How you doing, buddy? Say thank you to the nice man for saving your life, Sandal. No, he had it well under control. <clears throat> Now you don't have to pay. What do you have in mind? I don't know, but I will find a way. I'll take a discount. You know, I don't really need those just yet, so I'm not going to worry about that. Hmm. Whatever's 
through there seems still intact. Think we'll find anything? Ah, uh, more dark spawn. Chances are we won't find anything but even more dark spawn and rubble. Maybe bones. Hmm. I suppose we'll need to go down there to find out. Oh, and demons. Face me, buddy. No, please don't suck on a fireball. Well, you know, I could go for an atomic fireball right about now. So I guess I could suck on a fireball. You know, it's been forever since I've actually had atomic fireballs. I wonder... I wonder... I wonder if I can find somebody that sells atomic fireballs. I think he's up to something. Not bad. We'll take a look around. See if there's anything further in. Eugene. The door! behind you you always did notice everything Baron you're joking you're going to screw over your own brother for a lousy idol yeah just the idol the location of this tiger load is worth a fortune and I'm not splitting that three ways sorry I'm sure there is. I'm sure there is.
At least no more golems woke up. Casual, so you know. it's not gonna be too tough of a fight. I mean, I, I wouldn't want to do that. Not really much to be guarded, so about you know. Yeah, at least not dark spawn. Hi, crypto. He, I think he's bored. His brother went to sleep. Crypto, no. I know you're bored. You need a better hobby. Okay, you guys can handle that. I'm going back over this way. To loot. I need all the loot. All the loot. No, you guys just came in. We're not going right back outside. You guys haven't been in that long. All you want to do is go outside and, you know, try to people watch. But it is way too warm today. Um, I'd say being attacked on site gives us plenty of need. They will no 
cannot assault you further, not without my permission. And you are? What are these things? They seem like rock rays, but they hunger. The profane have lingered in this place for ages beyond memory, feeding on the magic stones until the need is born. <sighs> Anders? Deal or refuse? I want to refuse. I'm not becoming that thing's next meal. Most unwise. There you go. <clears throat> I'm gonna fight that demon soon, though. <clears throat> I don't think we fought, you know, saw the last of that demon. Most of them. Oh boy, health potions. What is this place? <laughs> this is the vault. The dwarves would have brought there. Rock monsters. Greg Knack. <clears throat> Greg Knack.
Oh, great. Anders. Do you have anything I can revive? <laughs> nope. Abilities. Heroic Aura, Heal, Greater Heal, Paralysis, Revulsion, Haste. It doesn't look like he's got anything to revive. Okay. Can't do anything, huh? Okay. Okay, we got this. So why are you trying to eat my shoes? Crypto, stop eating my shoes. Um...
No, Fenders is the one who did all that. But Fenders was the one who did all that. Fenders should have gotten the kill shot. Oh yeah. We'll go. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's amble over Barton's corpse. Crypto, what are you doing? I know you're bored. You're a bored puppy. He's a bored puppy. He's got toys, too. He can play with toys, but his brother's asleep. Probably not. Luck hasn't exactly been our strong point so far. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> the treasure we found in that crypt far outstrips Barter and stupid idol. He'll be green with envy when he finds out. As soon as I get the chance, I'll look up my contacts to make sure you we just, get the best You just haven't been there. in that long, buddy. She's not dangerous. Oh, Bethany, what will happen to you? Don't worry, Mother. I'll be fine. Look after her, big brother. <laughs> so the champion's sister was in the cell. It's not the connection you're looking for. Isn't. Driven from their home, a sister taken against her will, and the champion's companion, Mero, Aveline, Isabella, that warden, Anders. Don't remind me. I introduced them. We thought they all came from Ferelden together, but now it makes sense. Motive and opportunity. What do you guys have against Ferelden?
nothing we could do for her. Poor girl. Three years later, the Kunari still haven't left. The Kunari insisted they were waiting for their ship. But some of us knew better. Okay. I'm a noble now. I, sh I, sh I should look fancy. I should have fancy hair. In a bit. Okay, let me get to these cutscenes. And then the stream. No, Crypto. You can wait a minute. I know, buddy. You're bored. No, Crypto, you can wait a bit. Let me get through these cutscenes, little boy. The compound was not meant to be permanent. There are concerns the Kunari influence is no longer contained. I'm even taking Kunari hairstyles. Kirkwall has tension enough between Templar and Mage. But these Kunari, they sit like gargoyles waiting for Maker knows what, and everyone goes mad around. Nearly four years I've stood between fanatics. And now, this. Don't keep us in suspense. Leave us. <coughs> Meredith at my throat, Orsino at my heels, and a city scared of heretical giants. Balance has held because the Konari asked for nothing. Mm. Even the space in Low Town was a gift to contain them. But now, the Arishok has. After the cutscene and the, and the stream, guys. What did you do? Uh, this and that. I guess I impressed him, but that was years ago. It makes no sense. And it doesn't matter. I just need them quiet. I remember how you helped my son. It seems you are meant to have influence above your station. Speak to the Arishok. Give him what he needs to keep the peace. Can you do that for Kirkwall, Sir Arhawk? Okay. I'm not going to be asking that. Sure. I'm always willing to assist. I got my money, so this city has lacked for a long time appease the Arishok take his demand and let him return to dormancy as awkward as this has been it is better than the alternative stepping down is looking more and more appealing I think I got any inventory Okay, let me just do my save. And I think that's where I'm going to end it for tonight. We'll be in Act 2 next time I play. Um, tomorrow, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um, something. But I will be streaming tomorrow. Because I'm going to be camping this weekend, which means Wednesday is going to be the day we get um, prepped. And Thursday, Friday, Saturday, all the way through Monday, I will be camping. I'll be returning on Monday, but I won't be in any uh, condition to stream. I know that much. So, uh, until tomorrow, uh, same uh, time, same channel. I will see you then. See you on the flip side. Bye. <laughs>